In this video, we will talk about Barba's global hooks. In our case, we want to use global hook every time we make a transition, we want to make sure we scroll to the top of the incoming page. And for that, we will need to use global hook and scroll to the top of the window when we entering the new page. To use global hooks with Barba, it's quite straightforward. We can define them above or below the init, doesn't really matter. And if we type in barba.hooks, enter. Any code that is written here, so console log enter will happen on enter of any of these transitions. Okay, so the global hooks are not specific to any transition. Every time a namespace enters, this will happen. Doesn't matter if it's this transition or this transition. These are global hooks. And for our case, we want to scroll to the top of the window. Window dot scroll top or scroll to zero zero will get us to the top of the page every time we entering a new page. Okay, so scroll to zero zero and let's save it view it in the browser scroll a little bit click on the back to categories and the new page is always at the top okay so this is handy to reset the scroll top position another handy way to use these could be for google analytics as you know when you click on the link, Barba only replaces piece of the page with the new content. And for example, if you want to log in the page view inside of Google Analytics, you have to do it manually. You have to manage it manually inside of Barba. And again, for that, you would use the global hook. And if we look at the third party scripts, you'll see the Google Analytics example as well. Okay, so instead of using the Barba hooks, enter, we're using the Barba hooks after and when the page is loaded, when the new page comes in, after that we are logging we're using the GA or Google Analytics to send the page view to GA. And that's another way how you can use global hooks. Here is our console log happening every time the enter transition is in progress. We're logging it into the console. And in a similar way, we could define the after. If we duplicate it, change the keyword to after, we can execute any code that will happen after the transition. Okay, so simple way how you can manage your code, your JavaScript files, your triggering of plugins, initiating of other scripts before or after some of your transitions.